people get involved in your campaign. They say, you know what? I love this woman. I love what she's doing. She's fighting for us. This is John Burrell reporting for Conservative New Media. And this thing is heating up, and it's almost become a battle of expectations between people trying to say the Republicans are going to win everything and it's going to be a super tsunami, and other people, the Republicans, trying to tamp it down a little bit. Where do you put this thing right now? I have this thing in a very interesting spot right now. I see the Republicans taking the House. I see the Senate not quite there yet, but inching forward. And uh, you tell me, what, what do you see going on right here with election 2010? Well, respected pollsters such as Charlie Cook and Larry Sabato, uh, very well-known figures in the, in the world of politics yeah. polling. Larry Sabato, uh, he just came out with an estimate from his crystal ball saying that he believed that Republicans would take 47 seats in the House. They only need 39 to regain control. And he put the Senate gain at eight to nine seats, which would put Republicans basically uh, at 49 seats versus 51 for the Democrats. I have to say, though, um, with the amount of money the Democrats have with the media, I definitely do agree that expectations for, uh, the, for the Republican Party do need to be tamped down a little bit because people need to stay motivated. They need to get out there. They need to donate. They need to campaign and et cetera. Nothing is certain. Nothing is certain. There's no doubt about it. And I see it out here in some of the races you know, that, that, you know, we, we follow closely or people that have asked us to comment on or help on, or even, you know, I mean, we, you know, that we do a lot of, uh, you know, political consulting and even some campaign managing, we run campaigns, we do different things like that. So we're almost a, sort of a cross between, um, uh, David Axelrod and call and Carl Rove in terms of the political brains and operation. I've been involved in presidential politics on down since 1988, you know, Lee Atwater took me aside and, and, you know, work with me and everything like that. And, and so, I mean, you know, uh, there's very, very few people out there, quite frankly, that know more about politics in terms of and also uh, understand how to execute it and get it done, particularly um, with the new media and all the new techniques than myself. And I'm just telling that straight up. And, and you know that. But I see it out here where we have people that I think are a little too mm, here in California, Northern California. I'd say a little too, I don't want to say cocky, but comfortable, I think. And I know what's going to be coming right now with millions of dollars. I know what's going to happen with the moveon.orgs and the daily coasts and, and the left wing, you know, press out there and what they're going to do. I think some of these races are going to get because the Democrats really don't have a record to run on. So it's going to get real negative real quick. Don't you see it the same way? Yeah, I do. I mean, that's that's part of the strategy. They do not want this election to be a referendum either on the economy or on Barack Obama generally. They want it to be a choice election. And what they're going to do then is bring up George W. Bush. They're going to bring up uh, Republicans have no ideas. Republicans are the party of no. There cannot be on the Republican side, if you are you know, voting that way or if you're campaigning on that side, there cannot be a sense of complacency or just thinking this is going to be a breeze because you're going to get hit hard with negative attacks between now and November. Well, and that's the thing. And, and I feel like a lot of times our side is going into a machine gun fight with a little cork gun because, I mean, so many of these people are they're so stuffy and they're, they're still on the golf courses. They still want to talk to, you know, the old ladies, the Republican Women Federated and stuff like that. And nothing against them. Those are great people. And they've been the, you know, the heart of, of the Republican Party for a long time. But it takes so much more than that to win. And they just don't. They haven't figured out how to work the new media yet. They haven't figured out how to reach out there to, you know, crossover voters. They haven't figured out how to get to the youth out there. And that's exactly what we do. And that's why people really have to get involved in conservative new media. And that's why these people, I'm, I'm afraid that I don't think we're going to have this big wave of Obama voters again. But at the same time, like, I think the left is so much better at that closing game and stuff like that. It used to be that, you know, we had to better get out the vote organization on the Republican side. I just don't know that we have that now. And we definitely don't have the, the media operations that they do. And that's one of the things we try to solve. But real quickly, let's let's pause this for a second because one of the people that we just absolutely loved and we gave the, the blueprint of how to win it and I coached her up and her husband and her team and we've been working closely with them and we love them is Carly Fiorina who I have already predicted and we've already, we've endorsed way, way long ago is going to win against Senator Barbara Boxer. And we had a hot video that people really loved and uh, it's, we want to go to it now. This is the conservative new media video of the, on, of the week. You can go on YouTube, type in conservative new media, you, conservative new media. You will find this right there. And this video is about Barbara Boxer's aide, senior aide, allegedly getting busted for pot, for pot marijuana at the Capitol building out there. 
And let's just go to this, and I think it speaks for itself. And, uh, again, this is all for entertainment informational purposes. We're not alleging any facts here or casting any aspersions. And so with that, let's go to the conservative new media video of the week. What's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal, and Paula Villarreal here for Conservative New Media. Now, just when you thought it couldn't get any weirder, this sad situation, this race of uh, Barbara Boxer versus our girl, the, the superwoman of California conservatives, Carly Fiorina, the one that's fighting for every single California out there. We love Carly Fiorina, and we love Team Carly, and we love Carly for California. But here's the thing. Forget about that for one second, even though you should be thinking about that 24-7. Dude, this situation with Barbara Boxer, in my personal opinion, is crazy. First of all, she's got the crazy hairdo. Make of that what you will or nothing at all, but I mean, at the same time, it's a little bit of crazy hairdo. Then we have her getting destroyed like a little puppet, like Mrs. Magoo in that debate. She looked horrible in that debate. I mean, it's like, dude, I remember, oh man, that was just so bad. I mean, she just was like confused. Now it's gone to a different level. Now we're talking about her aid, not just a little aid, a senior aid. Just got busted for marijuana, allegedly, by the Capitol, uh, U.S. Capitol Police in the Hart Senate office building. What is going on over there? But you know what? This kind of makes sense a little bit because, you know, we know that Obama and Boxer and the whole thing have been super liberal and spending to the cows come home. And they've been doing all this stimulus and all this type of stuff. And it hasn't worked. And we're spending like crazy. And unemployment's going up. And the debt and deficit's going up. And people are losing their cash. And they're losing their homes. Well, this guy, allegedly, you know, uh, Marcus Stanley, was a, quote, senior economic advisor and also worked in some kind of uh, joint economic, you know, committee, this and that, whatever. Now we know, maybe, possibly, allegedly, in my personal opinion, what could have been going on there and why their economic policy doesn't work. The dudes may be on drugs. I mean, how, how many, I mean, that's the only way you can think this liberal junk has any possibility of working, dude. None of it works. If they're out of bullets, the whole thing sucks. This administration is a joke. And the only bigger joke is Barbara, don't call me ma'am, punking out the general boxer joke. And, 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 and her aide is a joke who had to resign. This thing is crazy. Political reporter on it, we've got it down here below. All this is our personal opinion for entertainment informational purposes only. We're not alleging any facts or casting any aspersions. But <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. This woman is crazy. Vote her out and vote Carly in. Carly for your arena. Carly for California. Paul, what do you think about this? This, I, I can't even do this with a straight face. This, this story is hilarious. Yeah, look, I mean, you, you said the administration's a joke, and, and, and so is uh, the Mrs. Magoo crew. Uh, and, you know, unfortunately, I, I hate to bring this up, but I have to because it's true. Uh, we, we know for a fact, because he admitted it, that, you know, Barack Obama's uh, no stranger to drugs in his past, and uh, we see the policies that have come through, and now, uh, you know, maybe that, that's kind of a transfer under the Barbara Boxer campaign with this new allegation. Oh, my goodness. I think this story is hilarious. And it just goes to show, and now apparently there's been all kinds of other problems with, uh, you know, people being busted for drugs out there, the new security out there. What is going on in the Capitol and what's going on with Barbara Boxer? I think this is a clownery, and you got to get it out of there, and you put Carly in. We love Carly. This story is hilarious. What do you think about it? What do you think about it? Is this a big deal, not a big deal? They're talking about legalizing marijuana in California. Where do you come down on it? Where do you come down on Barbara Boxer? Where do you come down on a senior economic advisor, you know, allegedly stuffing little green stuff and getting popped by the Capitol Police? I mean, isn't And there we go. That is our conservative new media video of the week. People love it. Highly rated. You can go on. You can make the comments right now. Now, Paul, you were going to read one of our hot comments there. Uh, and make sure that it, you know we're on the air now, so make sure that you do what you need to do to make sure that everything is clean because, you know, it's YouTube and people put all kinds of different comments on there. Uh, Paul, why don't you pull one of those comments right there while I'm going to pull some of these things in the chat when people are talking to us about this. Yeah, here's a comment right here, and this is from um, uh, user Mark's Notebook, and, and we certainly encourage all of the listeners to come on and share your comments with us too on YouTube. This man says, quote, I cannot say what I've always thought about Barbara Boxa the tiny little short woman whom I call a bleep, but she's going down this fall. I'll bet on it. I am 
so sick and tired of her big mouth and her arrogance in those committees against everyone from that black conservative a couple years ago. I know that was so bad. And all others who got caught up in her, her web in Congress. Get rid of her and her dopey friends. <laughs> wow, there we go. And that's the thing. So every week we're going to have a hot conservative new media video of the week. You, we're going to air your comments too. So the best comments are going to get on the air. They're, we're going to put them on the radio and we're going to have this on conservative new media on the on, on our video YouTubes. I want to very quickly before we go to the break here, we've got Jeffrey in the chat room. says, the thing that I noticed that since 9-11, I have thanked every military or veteran I see. And you know what? That's exactly right. There's a lot of people that are really that you have such a, a different feeling, a better feeling, a, a more pride. And we've always had pride in our military here in America, but it really has taken on a different life. And I definitely thank people for their service and stuff. And I know like it, Again, when we do Dave's show, I mean, Dave and, and, and Kai, I mean, those those guys are veterans, and, and I, I can't even, I, I really thank them for that. I mean, it's really impressive. And, and being in a submarine, no less, under the sea, I mean, that's that's crazy stuff. Now, let's also talk to Randy here. Randy is talking in the chat room that, you know, what's funny is according to CBS, the DEA administration is instructing the Obama Department of Justice that if California approves this drug bill, and I assume that means the marijuana passage, the DEA will sue. Interesting. Interesting. So, I mean, you know, what we're going to talk about here. We're going to take your calls. What do you think about that video? And what do you think about this Barbara Boxer versus Carly Fiorina race out here in California? Are you with me? Are you for Carly Fiorina? Do you think she's going to win? I know we still have those those Chucky fans out there locally here in California that are, aren't quite sure. Let me help you convince you why Carly is the way to go. What about Meg Whitman versus Governor Brown? Or, sorry, former Governor Brown. I guess you can still call him Governor Brown. But Jerry Brown, hopefully not future Governor Brown. And that race is heating up. There's tons of money being poured in that race. I want to hear what you think about that, 866-770-5556. Also, I want to hear from our good friends over there in Delaware. There's a big, big primary coming up there, and we've endorsed Christine O'Donnell a long time ago. We talked to her the whole nine yards. We've got videos on that. And Sarah Palin's come out endorsing her, Mark Levin, Sean Hannity. She's been on Sean Hannity's show. I don't know if he endorsed her or not. I think so, but I can't say for sure. Rush has been calling it. I mean, you have the establishment. And everyone's coming out, trying to put pressure. I'm so sick of these rhino, weaky Republican establishment. There's some great people there that we really like a lot. And there's some people that need to kind of get with it, and there's some people that need to go. And we're going to keep fighting those battles right here because we are conservatives first, and we're, I'm the conservative outlaw. So we're going to take your calls, and we're going to talk about college football and the rest of the stuff. We have all kinds of stuff before we end the show. We're going to get your calls after this break. I am John D. Villarreal. This is the John D. Villarreal Show on the Conservative New Media Radio Network.